In every movie that uses VFX, there is one small tool that VFX artists can't live without if they want to achieve realistic lighting and create believable scenes, and that is HDRI. For example, while the gyrosphere is traveling the land in the Jurassic Park movie, we can witness the reflections of the environment on the glass of the vehicle, which makes the viewers wonder if it was shot on camera or if it was just a CG element. It's needless to say how that was done with the help of HDR eyes. So what is it exactly and how does it work? So in today's video, we're gonna delve deeper into the world of HDR eyes and explore everything you need to know about it. In the 3D industries, realistic lighting is an essential part of creating stunning 3D renders. It can make the difference between a flat, lifeless image and one that looks like it could jump off the screen. And that's where HDR eyes come into play, as they are a powerful tool that is widely used in the 3D world by both professionals and hobbyists to create realistic and accurate lighting in 3D scenes. So, in simple terms, an HDRI stands for High Dynamic Range Images, which is a method that is used in photography and computer graphics to capture 360-degree photos of environments in real world. And that can be anything, regardless of whether it is in the wilderness of the forest or the comfort of indoor environments. This technique enables us to render and display the HDRI photos as a background in our 3D software of choice. With the different light sources of the image, influencing the various objects of our 3D scenes to create a photorealistic result and lifelike renders which is very close to reality. Which is no wonder why HDR eyes have become a vital asset in various fields, especially in VFX work. Now that we have a general idea about HDR eyes, how does it exactly work? First, we need to understand how traditional lighting works which involves placing individual light sources within a scene and adjusting their brightness, color, and direction to achieve the desired lighting effect. This approach can produce realistic lighting, but it can also be time-consuming and hard to fine-tune. It can also be limited in terms of the range of lighting information that can be captured and used in a scene. HDR eyes, in contrast, being images from the real world, can capture a wide range of lighting information, from the brightest lights to the darkest shadows and everything else in between. The way HDR eyes enable that is that they are made by capturing the same photo at different exposures and then combining them into a single image. They are usually then stored in an OpenX or file format since they preserve a greater range of brightness and color values and we call that a high dynamic range image. This results in images that have far more detail in both shadows and highlights, as well as more accurate and realistic lighting and reflections. For instance, if we use an HDRI of a warehouse with an open door, the door area will be very bright, while the hidden areas will be darker. And then, the reflective 3D models of our scene will display the different details of the warehouse. This means, High dynamic range images lighting can provide more natural and immersive lighting for the different CG environments. For example, in the recent Forza Horizon video games, the subtle lighting effects and reflections on car surfaces are part of what sounds the realism of the games, and it was achieved through capturing real-life environments with HDR eyes, a feat that traditional lighting methods absolutely struggle to replicate. As a result, the game's visuals appear to be more natural and authentic. But generally speaking, HDR eyes are more often used in VFX projects. In fact, it will be extremely hard or impossible to find a VFX project that doesn't rely on them. Which means it is basically a VFX artist segue from fake CGI to creating something that looks realistic. In a similar way, this is my segue to talk about today's sponsor. So if you want to start learning VFX or game development and you don't know where to start, Skillshare is a good place to start because it has a library of thousands of high quality courses created by industry professionals in different fields, such as this course by artist Jake M which will show you how to create the iconic Doctor Strange portal in After Effects from start to finish. By the end of this class, you should be familiar with After Effects interface and what it takes to create such an animation, in addition to all the tools you need 
to start your visual effect journey. And you will get to put this awesome effect in your portfolio to show it to your friends and potentially your future job. There are also many classes about Blender, Maya, Max, Unreal Engine, you name it. So if you are a wannabe game developer, VFX artist, or an artist in general, I think this is gonna be extremely worth it. So what are you waiting for? The first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. One of the primary benefits of using HDRIs in rendering is the ability to accurately simulate real world lighting conditions, something that industries like VFX can heavily benefit from. Let's take a movie like The Avengers as an example, where live action actors have to iterate with CG characters. By using HDRIs to capture the filming locations, they were able to precisely replicate the lighting conditions and seamlessly blend the two worlds, where reality and fantasy can smoothly coexist on the same screen. On top of that, with HDRI lighting, a single image can be used to create a wide variety of lighting effects by simply adjusting the position, rotation, and intensity of the light source. This flexibility makes it possible for 3D artists to achieve different types of moods with ease, making it a great option for a variety of projects and scenes, such as exterior landscapes and interior visualization projects. Moreover, it can also save significant time during the rendering process, because unlike traditional light setups, the lighting is pre-captured in the HDRI image, which reduces the need for extensive light sources that take longer to render. However, it is important to note that while HDRI lighting is highly versatile, it's not suitable for every type of scene or project, and it's best used in conjunction with other lighting techniques, such as volumetric lighting and 3D suns, to create an even more detailed and realistic lighting effect. Nonetheless, when used correctly, HDRI lighting can help you elevate the quality of your 3D scenes to achieve the desired results. Creating an HDRI image is not an exact science, as there are multiple ways to do that, and maybe no way is more accurate than the other, but generally speaking, photographers nowadays use cameras that can capture 360 degree photos and they can do that seamlessly. For example, some have two lenses and each one captures half of the environment. It is also recommended to use a tripod or something similar to minimize the camera shake. Then depending on the camera, you would need to set it up to be able to take several shots at different exposures as we mentioned previously. The next step is to merge the multiple exposures into a single HDR image using a photo editing software such as Photoshop or other specialized software. During the merging process, the software analyzes the exposures of each image and combines them into a single one, and that's gonna be a high dynamic range image. After that, you can adjust the image colors and tone to your liking with your editing software. Nonetheless, there are still simpler ways to produce HDRIs with some more available options that are more budget friendly, such as smartphone apps, also by using 360 degree cameras, which is one of the best solutions for this task, in my opinion. On a side note, the emergence of AI is already changing the landscape of visual effects, and HDRIs are no different as the intersection between the two could yield excited new possibilities. One application of AI in this field is to generate HDRI images from scratch, which in some cases are indistinguishable from the real ones, and that is with the help of tools such as Gogun 360. But this technology still has its drawbacks, as the produced results still lack details compared to the actual ones, since usually we are only capable of generating a simple ground and a sky, with some additional elements like trees, but with the future improvements and updates, this issue could be addressed. On top of that, with tools like Midjourney and DALL-E, we can also potentially create fantasy-based HDRIs that can be used in stylized protections, something that HDRIs currently are struggling with. AI can also be used to enhance the color and contrast of HDRIs by training AI models on large data sets of images, and algorithms can learn to automatically adjust their values without the need for the human input, eliminating some work hours in the process. And although these are only speculations about the potential of AI and HDRIs, it's still difficult to envision a future where AI doesn't have an impact on this area of the CG industry. 
I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more interesting videos. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.